And good afternoon. So let's talk about the Conservative Party, the most successful British political party in history. Despite some popular mythology, the party of the working man, the party who unleashed us from the shackles of socialism back in the 1980s and allowed individual men and women to take control of their lives and make their own decisions free of state interference. What's not to like? The Conservative Party were about as respected globally as it's possible to be, emulated even the world over. Think of the many people who've led that party. Winston Churchill, there's Harold Macmillan, the obvious Margaret Thatcher, powerhouses of the political world, people with a solid ideology, leaders with a big idea. But in recent years, the grown-ups have left the room. And look at what we've been left with. Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. The ghost of Mrs T can rest easy. And now, as a direct result of a lack of authentic and commanding leadership, we're left with a party in disarray. A rudderless collection of mediocre parliamentarians who've lost all sense of meaning and direction. A party now fighting like ferrets in the proverbial sack. The Conservatives are literally tearing themselves apart and they're doing it in broad daylight. They now look about as electable as a breeze block. And yesterday, former Home Secretary singing like a canary about how bad her own party is in her speech to the House of Commons. They don't even care who knows. And this was followed closely by disgruntled Minister Robert Jenrick, a man who brings a whole new meaning to the word halfwit, deciding to walk the plank. He said he also disagreed with the government's Rwanda policy, despite being one of the people who actually wrote it. It's almost as if he was more annoyed that he didn't get the Home Secretary gig in the reshuffle. So we have the new Conservatives, the One Nation Conservatives, the Progressives, the Traditionalists. The list goes on and they all hate each other. The scrapping and the infighting is now so intense, I'm surprised Frank Warren hasn't been called in. Where did it all go so badly wrong then for the Conservatives? This was a party my nan voted for because she could see hope. She could see change. She knew her life was better under the Tories. She knew it was being run, run by the grown-ups. Today, she wouldn't go anywhere near. They've blown it, and as the Tories rip each other to shreds, they're now proving on an almost hourly basis that not only will they spectacularly lose the next election, they actually deserve to. So with all that in mind, I'm asking this question, could you ever vote Tory again?